Welcome to Drones Made Easy. I'm Mackenzie, and this is the Matrice 400. DJI's Matrice lineup has been the go-to workhorse drone for large-scale operations for years, and the M350 has been an invaluable tool for first responders, public safety, and inspection. So, what's changed between the M350 and the M400? Let's take a look. Starting with an obvious change, the M400 is larger, weighing in at around 21 and a half pounds with the battery installed versus the M350's 14.3 pounds. The larger frame creates space for more payloads, and the M400 can support a whopping 7 payloads at once, or up to 13 pounds of added gear. For reference, the M350 has a 3 payload 6 pound max, a little less than half the capacity. The M400 also has support for up to 3 simultaneous gimbal payloads, depending on which mount is installed, and the rest can be mounted through the four V2E ports located on the belly of the drone. The M400 is currently compatible with the following payloads, but an important thing to note is that if you are using a Zenmuse H30T, P1, or L2 with the M400, you will need to put the camera through a software update for it to be compatible. If you'd like a video going more in depth on the features of each of these payloads, let us know in the comments. Another exciting update to the M400 is its new sensor array. We're familiar already with the sensing system on board the M350, black and white six direction binocular vision and six direction infrared sensing. The M400 upgraded that to omnidirectional full color binocular vision sensing. We still have downward infrared sensing, but in addition, we also now have rotating LIDAR and six direction radar, meaning that the long history of drone obstacle avoidance being unable to detect wires is pretty much solved. It also means that if you're operating in low visibility environments, such as fog or smoke, your sensors will still give you usable situational awareness. How accurate is this new sensing system in the real world? We'll be testing it, but so far it looks pretty good. Another major difference is the change from a dual battery setup to a single battery setup, the TV100. This battery is 977 watt hours versus the 263 watt hour combined total of the TB65 that the Matrice 350 uses. With payloads attached based off of specs, this means you'll be getting about 59 minutes of flight time out of the M400 versus 42 minutes from an M350, something else we're gonna be testing. Charging time for this battery is 45 minutes with a 220 volt power supply in fast charge mode or 70 minutes with a 110 volt power supply. Either voltage will take 110 minutes if charging in silent mode. So how does this work with hot swapping? Can you still hot swap with only a single battery? Short answer is yes, because of a feature called power off endurance mode. You can swap the battery without turning off the drone. Once the battery is disconnected, the drone will stay active for 45 seconds, giving you just enough time to put the new one in. The M400 is also designed to work with a tethered battery, providing the option of continuous operations. This feature has not yet been released in the US, so we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. Another upcoming feature not currently supported in the US is cellular connectivity. The M400 has support for up to two 4G dongles, which act as a redundant backup signal under normal flights, and also as a range extender if the drone goes out of range of its OcuSync signal. Finally, the M400 also comes with DJI's suite of AI software, including smart detection, which can keep track of vehicles or people when working in public safety, as well as smart AR projection that can add real-time data to the pilot's view, such as street names and building names, and it also allows for real-time annotations and volumetrics during flight. So, as you can see, there are some exciting updates to the M400, and it's promising to be a valuable addition to the DJI Enterprise lineup. We do have our demo model here in-house at Drones Made Easy, so more information will become available as we continue to test it against the M350, and we're also gonna see how it compares to the rest of the M4 series Enterprise drones that are available. When it comes to DJI drones, use case is everything. So if you have questions, come visit our San Diego storefront and we'll be happy to help you figure out which drones would work best for you.